As the sun sets for some, it rises for others. A new superstar is on the horizon. Very recently, FaZe signed their newest pro Fortnite player, FaZe Dubs, and we're hoping the contract was to his liking. Especially since Dubs has already faced some controversy of his own before signing with the Big E Sports organization. Just before this, there was a huge scandal where Dubs was accused of cheating. Many people didn't know what to believe until he was proven innocent by Epic themselves. What's up guys, this is Dave coming to you with another Fortnite Pro Analysis video. We know we haven't done one of these in a while and thought, well, maybe it's about time. Let us know in the comment section who you'd like to see next. For those of you who don't know, Dubs is a 16-year-old Fortnite prodigy that has been hammering the charts lately, with three qualification placements, three weeks in a row, and solo World Cup qualifiers. Can you imagine qualifying three times in a row? Now, if that isn't consistency, I don't know what is. But his domination doesn't only reign in solos. Dubs and his partner Mega dominated week six of duos, taking third place. These kids are going to the World Cup finals in New York, and they haven't even finished high school yet. Despite Fortnite changing thousands of people's lives, I think pro players were right when they put it, Fortnite is about to make teenagers millionaires, but what can a company with so much money do if not give back to their fan base? Now let's talk a little bit about how Dubs first appeared on the radar. He was first spotted in the NAE gauntlet back in March with a fourth place achievement. This didn't seem like a big deal at first, and it wasn't until he placed third in the very first week of the World Cup warm-up cup that people started to take notice. Just imagine, out of thousands of players who have been grinding day in and day out for over a year now, just coming in and taking all the glory in one shot. While this was an amazing achievement, it also started to spark some controversy in the Fortnite community. Fans wanted their favorite pros on the leaderboards, but then somebody out of nowhere knocks them out of it easily. His reputation began to grow even more controversial once he placed second in the very first week of the qualifiers. Every other player who had qualified that week was a known pro. Tifu himself tweeted out this picture saying, Want to partner with me for duos next week? Now we know that post was a joke, but Tifu truly meant it. Either Dubs had cheated, or he was really that good. This led to the accusations against Dubs, where viewers called him out for using some sort of cheat. The scandal lasted for about a week or so until Epic themselves decided to strike it down. Meanwhile, many other pros put out videos defending Dubs. In the end, the accusations were dispelled, and he began to strike again with his insane placements. Dubs qualified in every week of Solo World Cup qualifiers and recently with his partner Mega for duos. Many people are considering Dubs to be the world's best player. I mean, no other pro player has shown consistency at this level. Now when we take a look at what makes Dubs so deadly, it's that he's always measured and controlled. That's the driving force behind his incredible placements. Much like many other top players, Dubs knows what he's capable of and that's what leads him to be so dominant in these games. His unhealthy level of aggression is rarely met with superior force. So, let's take a close look at what it takes to get all these placements. Here, he's one of the first players to make it to zone. When an unexpected enemy shows up, he doesn't lose courage. In fact, Dubs is the first one to spray him down. Dubs goes for high ground since he knows nobody has claimed it yet. In late game circles, always be the one to claim high ground if you can. It will save you a lot of maths and trouble. The most effective way to earn points is late game. Every pro player knows it. Dubs makes sure to tag targets while maintaining his situational awareness. As soon as he gets beamed, he instantly builds cover. You can imagine what would have happened if he hesitated for even a second there. Notice how Dubs builds multiple layers as he's pushing up. That's because if he builds only using one layer, he can get sprayed down easily. As he's boxed up, Dubs makes sure to show high ground who's boss. This is to prevent the high ground players from spraying down on him. Either dominate or be dominated. This is a very strong approach in competitive Fortnite. One of Dub's main attributes is his quick decision making. Imagine if he took the 50-50 fight. He could have wound up dead. Instead, he made sure to block himself off while placing a trap, making sure the enemy doesn't push him. Remember, traps can always be used as deterrents. This is what makes Dub's a phenomenal player. As he's RPG'd from high ground, he's left with only 29 HP. He doesn't panic. He doesn't get angry. Instead, he continues playing the game, popping a shadow bomb as he's nearly killed. Just imagine getting into a sticky situation and panicking. You lose your thought process, your strategy, everything is thrown away. Tell me this play isn't just marvelous. He hears a rocket from above and goes into the storm for a split second to make sure he doesn't die to it. Experienced players know the 10 ticker storm has a small 0.5 second delay before the damage registers. Dubs is fully aware of this and uses it to his advantage. He winds up taking the victory as his enemy somehow falls to his death. But let's all be honest, Dubs was probably going to win this anyway. 
Dubs is on the low ground in a late game circle with many pro players around, but that's not going to stop him from claiming what's his. He senses a player with his apex-like senses and goes in for the kill. Although this may have seemed like a foolish push, if you look closely, Dubs already got a decent amount of damage off on him. Plus, there was no real danger since no enemies had sight of him. Using all your resources available to you when the time calls is the epitome of a pro player. Dubs sees his inventory is looking good, so he decides to take shots until he's forced to move. He's rewarded with a kill. As he rifts for high ground, he maintains the high ground and lets people finish each other, which is what any pro player would do. Dubs is a very confident player. You can tell by his display of sheer confidence even in lobbies of this level. People can dispute that, but his placements prove otherwise. He is always looking for the kill. He maintains his advantage and almost always comes out victorious. Things aren't looking too good here for Dubs, but his lightning fast reflexes come into play and he jolts out and takes the high ground with ease. That shotgun fight was a bit risky, but he's confident in his abilities. Dubs corners another player and takes his wall. What happens here, guys, is what I call a 200 IQ play. After he resets the wall to avoid taking return fire, he knows the enemy is going to ramp up above him. He jumps up and places a wall, blocking the enemy's attempt to push. What an insane play. He gets control over his wall, and it's lights out for Mr. Panic. Dubs, with 118 health left, looks for a landing spot in a rough situation. As he lands, he notices nobody else on high ground and cranks 90s. After taking the high ground, a competitor arrives. Fortunately for Dubs, he leaves his right angle exposed, and Dubs exploits that, nailing him with a rocket. And, oh no, get this kid off high ground, he's dangerous. This is a spot where if I ran it, I'd be done for. But after Dubs is shot down, he makes sure to get a whopping 110 shotgun blast off. But now it's just Dubs, the Storm, and the enemy he boxed beneath him. Most people would run to safety, but this guy messed with Dubs, and he's not letting him off easy. Again, we see the multi-layer building as he goes for high ground. A great idea not to get shot down easily. Just look at the rampaging power of the drum gun spray. Maintaining constant pressure from above in endgame zones is what you want to do. Keeping the enemies in a state of panic is the way to go. Dubs is now squared off in a 1v1 with high ground, and we all know how the story goes from here. We saw how Dubs is a master at rotations and end zones. Let's take a look at some of Dubs' 1v1 encounters in the World Cup. Somebody starts spraying at Dubs, and he decides to push him. Notice how somebody else is nearby, but this doesn't concern Dubs, as he's prepared for 1v1v1. Watch the way Dubs pushes. He reinforces his builds using the enemy reload time to make his push. This is what I like to call clever use of game mechanics. After he gets close, it's only a matter of time now till Dubs secures the kill. Dubs is going wild, W king people in a $50,000 tournament. This just shows you his level of confidence and ability to conquer. He knows when he pushes somebody, it's going to be a 50-50, but he's always ready for the opponent's next move. Fortnite is a lot like chess in this way. It has endless amounts of moves you or your opponent can come up with, and once they make that move, you have to react accordingly to stay ahead of them. That's what makes it so distinct from any other competitive battle royale. While he's low on health, Dubs takes a second here to plan his next move. Watch how quickly his reflexes come up again as he hears an enemy pull out a heavy sniper. As soon as he sees the enemy reload, his game sense kicks in. Dubs opens an edit as fast as lightning and rips the enemy for double shots. Once the enemy's low, his killer instinct takes over and it's lights out for that dude. And there you have it. That's why FaZe Dubs is one of the best players in the world. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, or check out ProGuides.com. As always, thanks for watching.